Gemini, so I'm doing a quick fire round. <laughs> so this is from the 16th until the 23rd, okay, of April. Uh, and then I'm gonna try and get on with um, the May, but I have got to go out to work. So it's 14.44 on the clock. That might mean something to you all. But I'm gonna do a quick fire round. You'll pretty much see, but the rest of it will be over on Vimeo, but it's also for the people that have bought the buy all option to give them their bonuses. But you can also just either do that and buy the buy all option, or you can still just buy the rest of this reading if that's what you wanna do. Okay, um, but it's going to be slightly different. Also, I'm opening up private readings and I'm going to do them um, at £20. So if you would like a private tarot card reading, but tarot cards, not the Skype calls. If you like a tarot card reading, okay, just send me an email and send me like one or two questions, but I can talk to you via that. But uh, we can probably do it via Skype or just do the recording readings. I'm not really sure, but I'm going to do it for £20. So if you want a private reading while I've got time and time off work, they're going for £20, okay? So I will do my best to answer whatever kind of questions that you might have. I don't want to leave it too long, but I am also a giving person, so I'll try and do my best to give you what it is that you want to know during that reading, okay? Uh, whether we do it via Skype or whether I just do it as a recording reading, that's kind of what we can discuss during the email. But if you want one, it'll be £20, and it'll be open just for a little while, okay? So let's get on. So I'm going to do it a little differently. I'm just going to start laying some cards and then the rest of it will just be over on Vimeo and then I will also do clarifying it. Okay. So let's see. So Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus from now, which is the 16th until the 23rd of April. What's going on with Gemini? Gemini. Okay. So an opportunity, an opportunity. So this might be something that you keep extending to somebody or somebody keeps extending to you, but it's like an overextension because it's the first kind of card. So it's karma card, so it's really important. So it kind of means that you might be overextending your reach. Like you just keep offering and offering something grounded, but it may not be received because it is an opportunity. Or it can be a missed opportunity, you see, because it's like a karma card. So it can mean that, well, I've got something to offer, to offer you that's really grounded and stable where we can grow together and make something financially abundant and also hold each other up as financially stable people. But it seems like a missed opportunity because I'm probably overextending my reach where I just keep offering and offering and offering and offering. And it's probably not always extended. The door is always open as an opportunity, but I keep extending it but it sometimes is denied and then I extend and then it's denied, which is what makes it an opportunity, okay? So it can mean missed opportunity, okay? So Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising or Venus, but we will clarify all these. There you go, <laughs> there you go. So someone that is stubborn and probably emotionally blocked, this means, uh, 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 nope, it doesn't matter how many pinnacles that you try to offer me, I'm still concentrated more on probably my past or I am emotionally blocked and I'm not receiving any kind of offers. That doesn't mean an ending, but it just means that this is like a missed opportunity because you're overextending your reach and they're not taking it as a serious offer because they are probably blocked in some kind of form or manner, or you are, this is vice versa, you or them, Sun, Moon, Rising or Venus. Or it can just mean that you are being received an opportunity of work and you're gonna hold on to what it is that you're receiving, that you are worth more to an opportunity of work, so you're gonna hold on to your finances to build them. So if this is to do with work, this is really good. This means that you're saving, that you are actually saving. But also, as a downside, in order to let something out, you have to let something to in. Let something in, you have to let something go. This is why people can be blocked, because they're more concentrated on pain than what they are actually releasing that pain to let opportunities in. Opportunity knocks, but if you're still guarded and blocked, Everything is blocked. Your heart chakra, your mind chakra, your base chakra, every chakra is blocked of where you're not paying attention. You're not paying attention and understanding about ascension, which is release of energy and purging out and release of also communication. This is not communication. This is overextending a reach to someone that's not really listening because all chakras of hearing, listening, feeling and feeling are all blocked of receiving. So equality of give and take. So someone could be overtaking because you're overextending, <laughs> okay? <laughs> or they are, or you are. Who knows? But on a good side, health looks good because you are working and building on something to do with yourself, yourself. So if you're concentrated on yourself, that's good because you are building 
your financial support, your your uh, soul groups of people, of things that you might do on a mundane level at work, of where you're building a, a structured self and you're building a structure of where you also have boundaries. Okay, so if it's to do with you, you also got boundaries. So let's see, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Well, so there you go. So someone could be more concentrated on their past, maybe of heartache. Could be a third party situation. This is where when uh, people are uh, guarding their heart because because they have been hurt in the past, so they can't get over betrayal of where they can't receive anything because they're more concentrated on hurt and pain. So I'm saying this is the heart chakra that's blocked. They're guarding their heart because they constantly think that it will happen again and again and again and again. So I'm not letting you near my heart. I'm going to keep it guarded because I'm not either one interested or two. I'm more interested on building my financial support than what I am concentrated on love. So this means that I have been scorned in the past and it takes a lot for me to open up. OK, so this is either you or them. Or someone could be holding on to a heart condition. They could have a heart condition because they're holding on to their heart here and someone could have a heart condition and it's putting a lot of strain on the heart, a lot of strain because it takes a lot of strain for someone to remain like this, to remain like this, which is stubborn or stubborn or stuck or fixed in that way. That can be a lot of strain on someone's heart which or heart condition. So it means that I'm not releasing any pain. I'm actually keeping hold of it which is why you can also draw in soul group lessons or lessons in general because you don't understand about release, meaning that karma, everybody has their own karma. If you've experienced karma, that's because it's your karma and that you've experienced it and that's something that you have to learn to let go of. Until you learn to let go of it, it will come back to haunt you because you're not letting it go to release to understand the lesson that it was there that you played a part in regardless. So it was a part of growth. OK, growth, which is why some people can end up being like this to learn, to let go, to release, to let in the good. So then you start to receive opportunities in life. OK, so you can put a lot of strain on a partnership, a relationship or a ship in general or a household or where things can become out of control because people are guarded. OK. <laughs> OK, Gemini, let's see what else we've got for gems. Well, the Ten of Pentacles have come out, so work, really, work and finances look good. If it's to do with work and building something or creating something. So it could be to do with a Virgo, something rising or Venus, but this is can be like depression. This is like major, like a, it can be like a low vibrational entity that is around somebody where they just can't. It's not like they're seeking for an answer because they've already found it. The hermit goes in search of something, but... It's already found something because you find karma as it finds you. So it's something that you're already gone through or been through. So it doesn't matter how much your vibration can be low. This is why it takes release in order to purge it out. There's only one person in this card and it's the hermit. So it can be a Virgo, something rising on Venus. Or as a general energy, it's something that needs release. It's also a guide that also needs guidance so you might be trying to guide somebody out of heartache or guide somebody out of poverty or guide someone in order to release something a virgo could be watching i don't know the hermit is a very strange energy because it's more oily based so it's more like grounding it's more grounding like um if you look at water and and there's no water here, so there's no uh, actual love. It's just more of like earth, like earth, like just stuck kind of energy. Um, yeah. So let's see. What else have we got for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus? Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus? Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus? From 16th to the 23rd of April. Yeah, so somebody just might want to be financially independent or somebody wants to be single or somebody is single. But that's always pretty much good. If you remain blocked, but you are single, but you don't want to be single, that means that you're emotionally confused. OK, so, <laughs> so if you are single and you want to meet someone that is also single, then you need to like it's like attraction attracts attraction, meaning that you have to be single and independent to attract someone single and independent. So this is like a very confusing energy. 
So it might mean that uh, pretty much, well, you can co kind of stay in this kind of manner while I receive, because this is also like a reward of Jupiter, like the nine, which means that phew, the nine can either mean that I am in financial need because it's a help and a cry for help for financial support. Or on the brighter side of life, it can mean that I am receiving something as a reward for uh, completion. It means that there isn't an ending to it, but there is a completion of a lesson learned of meaning about saving, building and creating your own creation of yourself independently. So it's something that you are creating independently. It doesn't have to mean it's a breakup. But it pretty means, means that there needs to be a release of something because there has been something learned and it is about independence or should be. OK, or it could just mean that you're concentrated more on building kind of like, well, if you're going to remain in that manner, I'm going to remain in this manner where I am ready to receive money pretty much because like, it's more about abundance feeling abundance so i'm going to concentrate more on doing myself up my appearance my pride okay you could hopefully not too prideful but this means like i'm just like going to concentrate on wealth um like like um uh, what would you call it like um going out and doing yourself up hair nails whatever kind of man or female do <laughs> But you're pretty much concentrated on looking after yourself, of your health, pretty much, like a healthy person. So I'm going to concentrate on my health, fitness, diet, also service. Well, we've gone to the three, four, five, six house. Uh, but pretty much health, service, diet, you know, looking after myself, um, you know, financially looking after myself also, you know, building my creation. So that's how it stands at the moment. So over on Vimeo, I'm going to do the rest. But I am also going to look into doing live readings. Uh, I've got to pretty much figure out how to work my live system. But I might start doing live readings uh, or, and that kind of stuff. And I will probably do a question and answer kind of thing. If you're interested in that, I'm not really sure. Um, but yeah, so we're going to go from there. And then I will do the rest of the spread and then I'll clarify them. Okay, but that's just a quickie. It is over on there and it's like four dollars or three pounds to see the rest of the reading but that's your bonus that's going to hopefully happen between the 16th and the 23rd also guidance okay but if you want that reading please let me know and the email is in the description all right guys peace see you soon